Hello there. This is where the fun begins. Hey there guys, Unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well, and in this video, we're going to be talking about a new update for the Ahsoka Disney Plus show as it gets a new release window. We, of course, are going to go ahead and hop right on into it. In this video, we're going to be taking a read from the Direct article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. Quickly, before we start into this article here, I quickly want to take a moment to thank you guys so much for over 50,000 followers over on our Instagram page. I have it linked in the description down below. Unofficial Star Wars it means the absolute world to me. Thank you guys so much. As the article reads, a new report revealed a promising update about the release window of Ahsoka on Disney+. Plus. The upcoming Star Wars series is set to bring back Rosario Dawson's titular Jedi into the forefront after her memorable live-action appearances in both The Mandalorian Season 2 and also in The Book of Boba Fett. While Disney already confirmed that the show's premiere on Disney+, Plus is going to be this year, its exact release window and date is unknown still. However, an update could arrive sooner than later since its trailer will reportedly also get released at Star Wars Celebration next month. I'm also curious to know how many of you have ever attended a Star Wars Celebration or even plan on going to the Star Wars Celebration this year. Let me know down in the comments down below. So when will Ahsoka actually release on Disney Plus? For what we know, it's going to definitely be the next big live action Star Wars show on Disney Plus after The Mandalorian season 3 wraps up. Per a report from Verarity, as the article reads, Ahsoka is set to premiere on Disney Plus in late summer, August or September of this year. This new release date window is a bit earlier than what fans have been expecting ever since lead star Rosario Dawson said that Ahsoka will probably be released in the fall after providing fans an update about another project that she had been working on, the Haunted Mansion reboot, saying that in full quote, Ahsoka, that's going to probably come out in the fall. We're going to have Haunted Mansion coming out in August. This has already been recently pushed up into a late July uh, release date, however, from there. However, of course, that is beyond the point there, unless you guys are into that. The Ahsoka show, for what we know, is going to be releasing somewhere towards the end of summer, similar to what we saw with the Andor show last year. So why is Ahsoka's summer release a perfect release for Disney Plus? Lucasfilm seems poised to announce announce Ahsoka's official release date in next month's Star Wars Celebration, giving fans more reason to tune in at the said event. It's possible that it will be unveiled alongside its highly anticipated trailer, which will be a full of exciting new footage, something that's already been seen at the previous Star Wars Celebration, however, but this time hopefully released to the public. A summer release date for the Ahsoka show would give fans enough breathing room, pretty much to say, after The Mandalorian ends on April 19th. It would give a decent time, a decent amount of time for other Star Wars media and projects, whether that's games, books, or even other shows like Star Wars Visions Volume 2, and we're also having the Star Wars Jedi Survivor game as well. Those are all things that are kind of releasing from after The Mandalorian Season 3 wraps up and then over summer and everything like that leading up to the Ahsoka show that would be coming out in the fall of this year. And based on Disney Plus's project slate, there's a chance that Loki Season 2 for Marvel, if you're a Marvel fan, I have my Marvel channel linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well, could be the first in line to premiere before Ahsoka's eventful arrival, probably somewhere in the summer. Something that kind of we've seen here previously before and why we bring up Loki is because we don't really see Marvel and Star Wars shows overlapping. Not since the Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Miss Marvel show had overlapped and they blame the Obi-Wan Kenobi show for making Miss Marvel kind of fail quite miserably. The problem with Miss Marvel, however, is that it isn't a targeted show for everybody. It's more anticipated towards younger kids, essentially. And of course, there's nothing wrong with that. For more Marvel discussions, though, however, I have my Marvel channel linked in the description down below as I had mention. And if Marvel Studios decides to delay Loki Season 2 for any reason, then it gives more reason for Rosie R. Dawson's Star Wars show, Ahsoka, to take the spotlight in the summer and maybe release a little bit earlier. Whatever the case may be, however, Ahsoka is expected to push the galaxy far, far away into the forefront in 2023 after The Mandalorian Season 3. Now from there, that is where the article concludes, and as I had mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have this article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out 
there as well. Something to, very important to note here with the Ahsoka show is that this show is going to act as like a live action sequel or a kind of continuation essentially here of the Star Wars Rebels animated show, which is going to be beyond insane to see here. And I have been very heavily belief on the idea that we're going to have a quote unquote bottle cap episode essentially here in the third season of The Mandalorian. I've mentioned this time in and time out in many different videos here on the channel recently about this actually happening of where we'd have this episode that's kind of dedicated to Ahsoka and introducing the Ghost crew and the rest of the Star Wars Rebels into live action for one thing and then kind of set up their adventure for what we would see in the Ahsoka show coming out after the Mandalorian Season 3. As I had also mentioned, the Ahsoka show is going to be the next big live action Star Wars project to hit Disney Plus after the third season of The Mandalorian. So, of course, they're going to ramp it up and try to promote it and market it as much as they possibly can. And it, of course, makes all the more sense because this is all taking place in the interconnected Mandoverse. I also am very heavily on the belief that we'll see the same thing happen with Boba Fett and help setting up for a second season of his show, The Book of Boba Fett. However, that is something I discussed in a separate video here on the channel, I think already. To also help clear up any confusion about with what Rosario Dawson had said in that interview of where she said that she thinks that the Ahsoka show will probably release in the fall, that's something that we can't entirely count on. Of course, we love our people that work on these shows, the actresses and crew members and everything like that. However, they don't know necessarily everything about when it comes to these projects. Of course, they star in them, they work on them very talently and very hardly, of course. However, they don't know exactly when these projects are going to release. That's just kind of the reality of it, essentially. That's something up for Lucasfilm and Disney to announce on their own, pretty much. I will also say that the Ahsoka show, if we guys didn't already know, has already finished filming, of course, as it would be coming out later this year. I think that they plan to do reshoots here, however, in the next couple of weeks here or months here, if they haven't already done so. The whole post-production and editing process as well for the Ahsoka show has kind of already been underway for quite some time at the time of recording of this video as well. Anyway, before I got a little bit sidetracked there as I digress, I was talking about how Rosier Dawson is saying one thing and we're hearing from a report from Verarity another thing essentially about how the Ahsoka show is going to release somewhere in August or September. Both of these are kind of like the same type of answer in a way. Of course, you can kind of count September as fallish pretty much. That's where, but I mean, that's where I start my fall. I don't know about you guys. However, as I was talking about, these people that work on these shows and on these projects don't know necessarily everything about when they're going to be releasing and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and have to believe Verarity on this one. Either way, it's a close call. We could see it in August. We could see it in September. It's a month of difference and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be beyond exciting to see Ahsoka finally come to live action and even have her own show in live action. I mean, it's such a crazy concept to really think about here. I've loved this character forever. I grew up with this character in the Clone Wars animated show and then saw her also in Star Wars Rebels and everything like that. So to see her come to live action in The Mandalorian and in the Mandoverse here and then get her own show, it's just like my head just can't comprehend it. It just explodes. It's just, I love it so much. It's awesome. Anyway, of course, I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Maybe what you're looking forward to seeing most with the Ahsoka show, hopefully, and also with the Mandalorian Season 3 regarding Ahsoka, or anything else regarding the Mandalorian Season 3. I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Of course, this has been Unofficial Star Wars. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one, guys. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.